Today on One Up Makeup, we're going to do something a little bit different. When you're an adventurer wandering through a D&D campaign, you have something called your bag of holding. So it's the bag in which you keep all the cool stuff that's going to help you on your day-to-day -day orc slaying, uh, dragon battling quest. And so we decided to put together a little video of the things that we would take in our bag of holding when we went out as an adventuring team. And hopefully these tips will help you on your own personal life adventures. So now I'm going to share a few of my favorites with you guys. I'm going to preface this with they're kind of basic. This year, since like early summer on, has been sort of a journey of re-self-discovery for myself. And in that, I haven't been wearing a lot of makeup. I kind of wanted to get back to not wearing a lot of makeup and really feeling beautiful in my own skin again. My all-time favorite tinted moisturizer is the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer. This is in the Illuminating Flawless Coverage um, version of this tinted moisturizer. This is in the color Nude and it is SPF 20 so that's really important when you're out in the sun. Wear sunscreen every day. I do a lot of washing. You know, obviously I wash my face every night and stuff but honestly the biggest thing you need to do is use moisturizer. Um, it's something that I neglected to do for years and years and years and it's incredible what a difference it makes. Your skin looks better, it feels better. This is what I swear by and it's from my mother. She taught me that this is the best. This is what she's been using forever, which is the Cetaphil Daily Facial Moisturizer. The problem that I ran into with other moisturizers is that it was too greasy or um, it, like my makeup stuck to it too much. But this is awesome. Like your skin absorbs it and it's great. And uh, it has SPF 15 in it too. Um, I go through probably a bottle every four or five months, so it lasts a while. You only need a little bit but it goes a long way. And this other one is kind of a nightly one. My evening moisturizer is the Pond's Dry Skin Cream. This has lasted me, I'd say probably about two years now, I think this bottle has, and it's just really rich. I wash my face and put it on at night, and I'll also use it when I do wear makeup to help get the makeup off of my face. If there's some makeup left on my face, like mascara or eyeliner that just won't come off, I'll get some of this moisturizer on a cotton ball and just run it underneath my eyes, and it really helps clean stuff up. So this is a product that I use every single day. It's Joico's Daily Care Leave-In Detangler. And when I get out of the shower and my hair's all tangly, it's just really easy to just spray this on. And then honestly, within a few minutes, I can just like comb right through my hair and it makes it so much easier. And it also is sort of like a protectant and I definitely blow dry my hair almost every single day. And that's not really great for your hair. So this is just one little step to take to keep your hair more healthy. Is it stupid to like hairspray just because it's called structuring mist for wizards? Probably, but I love this because it's structuring mist for wizards. It's by Devines. It only sprays in spurts and it smells like cotton candy. There might be better hairsprays out there, but you can't get better than wizards and cotton candy. So every day I start off my makeup routine by using the Covered Girl Aqua Smooth um, foundation. It's really awesome because unlike a lot of makeup, it provides full coverage but also is relatively light. Um, I used it a lot in high school when I had really bad acne and I use it just a sparing amount now that it's cleared up. It blends really really well with my skin tone and comes in lots of different colors so um, you can find one that's right for your skin tone as well. So my first and recently foremost is going to be eyeshadow primer. This one is the Urban Decay um, uh, eyeshadow primer potion in original. I like this one because it's a nice neutral, you can use it for any shadow anytime. Primer is so important and it will make your eyeshadows last longer on your face, last longer in the container because you don't have to reapply as much uh, and they just, they really make, this one especially, it really makes your eyeshadow more vibrant um, and I just love it and it's really, it has a really long lasting wear and it's fantastic. The Metal Mania palette by Coastal Scents. It is a uh some of the best pigmented eyeshadow that I've ever used in my life and it's crazy 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 affordable and as someone who wears a lot of dark colors on my eyes it's really good for me. I have two of the metallics above the dark on my eyelids so. I love to do really fun colorful bright colorful <laughs> eyeshadow uh, and my absolute favorite is MAC. These guys I think they're like 14 or 15 dollars a piece so they're a little pricey 
but they last a really long time because they're really highly pigmented. So that's really all you need. It's really, they're really great. And they have a huge assortment of colors. I use this one, it's called rice paper for like just a neutral look, or you can go with the bright colors, which I do a lot. And they're just fantastic. I love them. Urban Decay is my absolute favorite brand of eyeshadow. I have a whole bunch of them. I have Urban Decay palettes, but this one right here, Polyester Bride, which is a sparkly white color, is one that I use multiple times a week. It's just so great. I put it like in my inner eyelid area a lot, and it's really good for like blending other colors together, and it has a little bit of glitter, which I like. So this is just a really like this, it's a good color to have because you'll use it all of the time, um, and it's my favorite white that I've tried. So I'm sticking on the eye train, apparently. I really like doing fun eye makeup, and I love this white pencil. It's just a white coal pencil, just kind of a creamy goodness. Sorry about that. And you can use it for however it really makes shadows pop if you want like really vibrant color, or what I do a lot is I'll just use it as an actual liner and then I'll take a narrow brush and just pat on one of those colors that I have that I love so well and it makes any eyeshadow into a liner which is awesome. So pretty much all my life I've only used black mascara because I thought what else is there but I found out they make mascaras in different colors. This is a blue mascara and I also found out that you don't have to just like reserve colorful mascaras to Halloween. You can wear cool colors anytime and it sort of adds an extra pop and makes your eyes a little brighter and whiter um, without seeming too like costumey. The next thing is a 10 blush palette from Coastal Scents. It's so great because I never really knew what color blush I wore so pretty much from when I started wearing makeup to a few months ago I had one color of blush. I had one little pot of like coral blush and I didn't really know what else to get so then I got this which has all of these amazing colors. It's like any color you would ever really want with blush and I've honestly tried all of them except for this really dark one on the end here and they I found that like really you can make any blush color work with your skin type depending on what other makeup you're wearing and what your clothes look like. So having something like this is really great because you don't have to pick blush colors. You can just have them all at your disposal and then just see what looks good that day. Blush is something that I only recently started using. I am in love with the Stila self-correcting one. Um, we actually used it for Tara in the Honey Boo Boo thing and that's what made me go buy it. This one is in Coral. Whoa, what am I getting? Yeah! Inception! Inception. This blush is the greatest! It adjusts to whatever color looks best on your face. I like the coral one. Tara uses the neon pink one. And that's cool. Look at this. Boop boop. Aw. It's just like a really natural flush. I just really like it. I think it's a really lovely color. This is the EOS Lip Balm. This is, I don't even know what flavor this is. It's like berry, pomegranate, something, the dark red one. It's really good. And I just, I love the EOS lip balms. They're kind of my go-to lip balm. I must have them in every single color. My favorite product of all time, of any kind, is Philosophy's Kiss Me SPF 20 Very Emollient Lip Balm. Um, it comes in clear and red. The clear looks a little yellow, but it does go on clear. Um, and the red looks a little dark, but it's just a really light tint and it is super thick. It's the only lip balm that I've gone back to and I've tried pretty much every kind. It adds a little bit of shine and it just, it makes the whole world better. This is my track. Um, CoverGirl lipsticks. For years and years and years, I never wore lipsticks. I have really, really small lips, so I didn't have an easy time applying them. So I was just having a really hard time with lipstick, and I would experiment and buy things at the drugstore all the time and never found anything that I liked until I discovered this CoverGirl lipstick. And the great thing about it is that it's $5 a tube. Here's a four of the colors that I have. I'm wearing this one, which is Burn. So it's got a kind of like a nice, like, brownie um, red with a shine in it. This lipstick is really amazing because it's long wear. Uh, you don't have to reapply it constantly. It moisturizes your lips so you never have to like, feel too dried out. So you guys, this is cheap and amazing and if you want to build up a collection of awesome lipsticks, you should probably go with this. So this item is something that's, you know, silly, but I feel like every girl should own a little pot of loose glitter. This one, I don't even know the brand, Fantasy Makers Confetti. I think I got this at like Walgreens, um, but it's sort of like a um, it's not just silver, it's sort of like a party 
color. It has like lots of different colors in it and you know, I think a lot of people feel like they outgrow glitter once they're not a teenager anymore, but I think if it's like New Year's Eve or like a girl's night out or like a fancy birthday party or something, just tapping a little bit of glitter like in the corner of your eye can really, really add a lot. I think that this is something that every girl should have and this one is the one that I currently use. I love painting my nails and I love reading and so it's really amazing when nail polish companies combine two of my favorite things. So this is the um, China Glaze Hunger Games nail polish uh, collection and they are just some really really fun colors. This one is Smoke and Ashes, Agro, and Harvest Moon and they're all sort of um, named after different parts of the Hunger Games and aren't too I think matchy. There's no Katniss or Peeta or something. They're all sort of inspired by themes and moods of the Hunger Games and so I love painting my nails with them because I feel like I'm representing one of my favorite stories and showing my true inner nerd. This last product might seem a little bit like I'm cheating for calling it one product, but one of my biggest beauty obsessions is Birchbox. And Birchbox, for $10 a month, you receive a box in the mail with a whole bunch of pro beauty products and beauty samples. So this month included a body lotion sample, a full-size lip gloss with a mirror on it, a something fancy, stem cellular repair, another lotion sample, and um, some hair serum for protecting your hair if you flat iron it like I do. So 10 bucks a month, you, you pretty much always get a full-size product and tons of samples. I've loved almost everything I've tried from Birchbox and that you can sign up for just by going to birchbox.com. Let us know in the comments if you like and use any of the products that we mentioned, and also comment with any products that you would use in your own personal bag of folding. Thanks! See you next week. This is Sushi. Sushi's my makeup helper. Stop! How long's my cat back there? been back there? What's he doing?